everyone! Welcome back to the Sassy Dentist PH YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm so excited to show you what I have here. We got some U3D stuff and you know what it means kapag U3D, it's the OG. It's every dental student's dream or even dentist. So one of the most common questions I get asked is, Super mahal, is it really worth it? Well, keep on watching! Before I show you what I have here, konting chika muna tayo. When I was still a dental student from University of Perpetual Health in Las Piñas, the first time I heard about U3Ds was when my para professor asked us to buy a set of U3D skaters. And just like any other student, my initial reaction was, bakit yun? Bakit sobrang mahal? Hindi ba pwedeng yung mga unbranded, cheap versions muna since students pa lang kami? And as I've checked Google about the product, nagkaroon pa ng product presentation in our school. And lalo na when I was already using it, I said, ah, kaya siya mahal. It's really worth it. As in, make sure you're wearing goggles and face shield if you'll remove a calcular deposit using U3D scalers kasi talagang tatalsik siya in your face. You can really remove calcular deposits easily and effortlessly basta tama ang paggamit and sharp ang instruments. So, I bought my own when I was still in my dent years. And some of it, I still use it up until now. Pero I remember, I dropped one of it and sayang lang kasi hindi na siya pwedeng isharpen and magamit kasi totally naputol yung tip. So I've learned the hard way to take care of things, especially expensive things in dentistry kasi sayang if nabagsak tapos wala na. So after that, sobrang maingat na ako with my tools. I bought few more sets when I was already studying as a dental hygienist. I think I have three sets para I can do several patients in a day kasi diba sa dental school, you have to wait and talagang may schedule ang autoclave and sometimes kapag yung morning set mo hindi yun yung gagamitin mo in the afternoon and then na delay yung sterilization schedule then sayang yung oras na dapat nagpipatient ka na so i made sure na i have extra sets para i don't have to wait for it and ma-maximize ko yung clinic time ko okay so let's start with ano nga ba ang U3D U3D Group is a global leader in dental instrument manufacturing, infection prevention, and instrument reprocessing workflows. Headquartered in Chicago, U3D Group products are distributed in more than 100 countries. What I have and have been using since I was a studentista is mostly yung mainstream line with stainless steel handles. So since I dropped an instrument during my hygienist year, ang nabili ko na as a replacement is yung merong blue code ring. So this one is the 1314 gray Securette with Ever Edge version 1 tip. So yun yung blue. This scaler naman with the purple ring, I bought this for my dental hygienist licensure exam. This is the U3D Ever Edge SH5533 with diamond knurl handle. So it means means na it is the Ever Edge version 2 tip na siguro we can talk about Ever Edge next time. Pero I really love this lalo na sa dental hygienist licensure exam ko wherein magma-manual scaling ka on a severe case. So SH533 is a super thin sickle scaler for interproximal and cervical areas of anterior teeth. I swear kung may dental hygienist na magtitik ng licensure exam, make sure you have this and it's sharp. Before I show you the Harmony series, I want to show you yung cassettes ko here. This is the Infinity series instrument cassette and this is the signature series instrument cassette so you free the IMS cassettes might be expensive pero if you are investing in expensive instruments make sure they are stored properly Gabe, you don't want your scalers and curettes na masira yung tips because halo-halo sila sa sterilizing pouch and lalo na if you accidentally drop it sayang pwedeng maputol yung tip so if they are in a cassette like this then you're more kampante na kahit mabagsak somewhat it is secured and hindi agad God prone masira. Okay, let's now move on to the Harmony series. What is U3D's Harmony series? Harmony series is U3D's ergonomic scalers designed with true fit technology. So as you can see, compared to my old U3D instruments, ang pinaka distinct with the Harmony series is yung handle, yung shape ng handle. Hindi na siya parang straight all around. Meron na siyang curves which is said to be responsible for making the instrument more ergonomic and alleviating hand fatigue. Most complaints, 
um, after manual scaling, masakit ang fingers, wrists, arms, and even shoulders, right? I remember sa dental school, we'd rather do ultrasonic scaling rather than manual scaling kasi nakakapagod. So, lahat sumisimangot kapag sinabi ng CI na do manual scaling. Pero, di ba, we know hindi lahat ng cases pwede ultrasonic lang, especially if the calculator deposit extends out gingivally. So, with the true feet technology, they actually measured over 2.8 million data points for pinch force in the finger and pressured applied to the tooth when scaling to see what type of handle ang mas comfortable for the clinicians all over the world. And there, they discovered nga na most of the clinicians during the test were able to feel more comfortable and reduce yung fatigue with this type of handle na double helix texture. So still discussing handles, the Harmony series is still made of durable metal contrary to the belief na lightweight handles are more ergonomic which is made of plastic or silicon. Studies have shown na they offer less tactile sensitivity as compared to metal handles. Ako, I personally still choose metal handles over plastic or silicon handles. It just feels na mas may control ako and mas secured yung grip with the metal handles, lalo na pag naka-gloves. Let's try holding the Harmony scalers um, and curettes with gloves and medyo basain natin to mimic yung fluids ng bibig. See, it just feels right. Hindi dumudula sa gloves kahit na medyo basa. Let's now move forward. The silicon grip. So the silicone grip has been extended by 30% providing a secure nimble grasp while using the instrument. The geometric pattern is specifically designed to maximize grip in all directions. This is one of the reasons why you should never place your label tapes in this area to have good grips. So I have seen a lot of clinicians who do place label tapes in that area and ako din on my early years, I place it there pero I figured out na ang dulas kapag nandun yung tape. So look at my old instruments. This is the area where I place my label tapes kasi you want good grip in this area. So unlike this instrument, Yung label tapes nandito sa area na to, this is one of the first U3D instruments I bought, I think way back 2012. With the tips naman, it still has the Ever Edge tips which are 72% sharper than the leading competitor. It is actually even sharper than the old series that I have. Iba talaga yung Ever Edge, you really feel na yung tip when you insert it subgingivally. Matatanggal ng buo yung calcular deposit and tatal sa sayo. So why do I really love my U3D scalers? Kasi sharp scale require less pressure to do the same amount of work, creating a more comfortable experience for you and your patients. Diba, usually yung patients would say during manual scaling na, Doc, grabe, hirap na hirap yata kayo sa tartar ko. Surprisingly, and my old patients can attest na talagang nakakatulog sila sa dental chair when I do manual scaling. Ganun ka comfortable when you're using sharp scalers. I remember during my dance school years, may naiwan ako na scalers ko at home kasi I bring my U3D instruments at home every single day. So one time, I had to borrow scalers from a friend and sabi nila, hindi yan U3D ha, knowing that I only use U3D scalers and curettes sa clinics. So syempre, I had no choice. Andiyan na yung patient ko and I had to use unbranded scalers or yung mga budget-friendly na brands. And to be honest, I really had a hard time removing calculator deposits with those. Ang kapal ng tip, kahit na tama naman yung wake off insertion Parang it injures the gums more than what it usually does sa U3D scalers ko. And grabe, it's really bloody. And I had to go like back and forth multiple times and exert more effort sa pag-remove ng calcular deposits sa lower anteriors. And alam ng lahat how hard it is to remove yung calcular deposits sa area na yun. Walang halong OA. After that, I never forget to check kung dala ko yung scalers ko every single day. Sabi nga nila, once you use a U3D, you can never go back to using cheap instruments. I'm not against dentists or dental students who still buy it or uses it kasi syempre iba-iba naman tayo ng situation. Like U3D is really expensive and some dental students can't really afford to buy U3D scalers. Pero for me, if you really have the opportunity to buy U3Ds, go for it, invest, and you will feel the difference. I will not go one by one and thoroughly explain the tips and how to use it kasi for sure it is taught in dental schools already. Pero I wanna show quickly lang one by one the instrument and where to use it. So SG-12 is a Gracie curette for the anterior incisors and canines. So Gracie curettes are area-specific periodontal curettes to remove supra and subgingival calculus and also if you need to do root planing. So a major difference of a curette and a scalar is the shape of the blade. In cross-section, the blade of a scalar is triangular whereas a curette is semicircular. So ito yung importante. You should know your instruments. Nasa ng cutting side and ano ang motion niya. For example, in Gracie curettes, 
rounded ang tip and one side is the cutting edge. So you should never use your greasy curette's tip to remove calcular deposit kasi mapuputol yan. So how would you know which side is the cutting edge? What I do is to look at the face of the instrument and you'll see it kind of angle towards down the cutting edge. The part that is pointing down, yan yung cutting edge. This is very, very important when using greasy curettes kasi if you use the non-cutting edge, you will have a hard time removing the calculus and probably you won't be able to remove it. And two, you will injure the gums kasi the cutting edge will be facing towards the gums and there you'll have a bloody work area. You can also try to rest the instrument in your finger and you'll see kung ano yung rounded edge and yung um, sharp edge. So yung sharp edge is the cutting edge. The Gray Securet 5.6 is a medium contra angle for anterior incisors and premolars. SG78 is a medium contra angle Gray Securet for premolars and molars, facial and lingual surfaces only. SG1112 is angulated Gray Securet to reach mischial surfaces of posterior teeth. 1314 is angulated Gray Securet to reach distal surfaces of posterior teeth. To easily identify which is which between the two, you'll notice na mas complex yung bends ng 1314 than the 1112. And when it comes to positioning, you'll see na correct yung tool mo when the angle of the instrument is correct. 1516 is angulated Gray Securet to reach mischial surfaces of posterior teeth, similar to 1112, pero it has more complex bend for hard-to-reach areas. So useful din ito if your patient has a small mouth opening. And 1780 naman is angulated Gray Securet to reach distal surfaces of posterior teeth, similar to 1314, pero it has more complex bend and slightly longer terminal shank for hard-to-reach areas. Okay, so we're done with greasy curettes. Let's move to Columbia Universal curettes. The difference is that greasy curettes are area-specific whereas Columbia Universal curettes are made to adapt one instrument to all surfaces. So greasy curettes have one cutting edge. Sa Columbia Universal curettes, both sides are cutting edge. We have here the 2R and 2L and 4R and 4L with Harmony Series handles. So 2R, 2L is for anteriors and 4R, 4L is for posteriors. This can be used in any tooth to clean subgingivally. These instruments can be used in most teeth by just changing the finger rest position and adjusting your hand position depending on the quadrant you're cleaning. Although this means you can have two universal curettes instead of buying seven greasy curettes, it is worth noting that greasy curettes offer the least tissue trauma because the other side is a non-cutting edge. Moving on to Nevi series. The Nevi series features four scalers capable of scaling light to heavy calculus with minimal tissue trauma and superior adaptation to allow precise access in difficult areas. Nevi 1 has two distinct working ends for anterior scaling. So the pointed tip is used for removing anterior and interproximal calculus and stain. The other end, which is the disc end, is a sharp rounded disc for removal of anterior lingual stains. As in, this is what I bought for my hygienist licensure exam kasi we do manual scaling of a severe case and sobrang kapal ng calculus at the back of lower anterior and main stains pa. Nevi 2 naman has the thinnest blades in the Nevi collection. I love using this to remove calculus sa interproximal areas as in patient feels comfortable kahit mag subgingival ka with this instrument, just be careful lang kasi since this is the thinnest, take note that you can only use this for light to moderate cases. Nevi 3 naman is the same with Nevi 2 but shorter. It is used for light to moderate calculus removal in tight, narrow, posterior, interproximal areas too. So Nevi 4 is ideal for heavy scaling of posterior interproximal deposits. Increase shank size and rigidity, generate effective removal of tenacious, heavy, and burnish deposits. So burnish deposits, ito yung mga sobrang smooth na nakalculus as in parang wala nang makapitan yung instrument. So remember, the Nevi scalers are for supra-gingival scaling. You can use it to sub-gingival up to 1 millimeter kasi minsan may errors na hindi mo talaga maiwasan to go sub-gingival. Pero ideally, supra lang sila since medyo delicate yung tips nila. We also have here two sickle scalers used for the removal of supra-gingival calculus. SH-533 is a super thin sickle scaler combined with a straight sickle blade. It is very effective for scaling interproximal and cervical areas of anterior teeth. I have three pieces of this as in lahat ng pero set ko meron neto kasi this is my favorite. So SH-67 is also called the hygienist scaler. Very effective for interproximal areas. Shank angulation provides accessibility to 
all anterior and premolar surfaces too. So basically, either of these scalers is the National Manual Scaling Instrument of the Philippines, though it may depend on what part of country you are from. But don't be afraid of the nevis. I believe I have described them enough and now you're itching to have one or all of the nevis. I forgot to mention that we also have the U3D Blackline mouth mirror here. The diamond-like carbon or DLC coating of the handle and mirror frame reduces glare by up to 80%. This is super perfect sa mga dentists na gusto ng all black sa clinic. Like di ba merong black chair, black gloves, naka black mask. And you should also have the black mouth mirror. Sobrang sleek and elegant tingnan. Oh, diba? Crash course tayo on pair instrumentation. Pero I think what is more important here is mapakita sa inyo yung different types of scalers and curettes ng U3D and of course yung handles. Kasi guys, maski ako, when I was still a student, and even until now, nalilito ako sa dami ng handles nila and I don't really know para saan sila. So have another look at the different handles. Here we have the mainstream line or the satin steel handle, diamond knurl, and harmony series. Here naman is a different handle. This is for restorative tools lang, the smooth handle. Let me know in the comments below if you want a video about restorative instruments or if you want to see the different types of U3D handles kasi marami talaga sila. I know this is a really really long vlog but I hope you learned a lot from this and really get to know the U3D instruments better kasi diba talagang sometimes it's overwhelming sa dami ng instruments nila and sometimes guilty din ako na it's nakakahiya to ask questions. And sometimes di mo din alam anong kailangan or dapat mong itanong. If you like this kind of vlog, don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment below if you have more questions or ano pa ang gusto niyong makita na U3D instruments and share in your social media na din and tag me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on my next video. Bye-bye!